Let's take you to Nazareth now, um, where the ANC's uh, policy conference is underway. And we'll talk to watchdog host Vuyo Mvoko, who's also joined by Mzwandile Mbeje, our SABC political uh, editor. Vuyo, good evening to you and welcome. I want to look at one of the points in the policy uh, document or discussion document talking about um, economic recovery. The ANC discussion papers also seek to come up with a mechanism to reduce wasteful expenditure, tackling corruption and holding the guilty accountable. Given the events of the last year, just on that issue of accountability and high-profile ANC members and calls uh, for the, you know, for transparency by the president himself, uh, you know, someone who has to offer a lot of answers in the aftermath of his farm robbery, how do you read the statement? Well, the difficulty uh, the president seems uh, to be having, um, if uh, his earlier comments are anything to go by, uh, Iman, is whether the people who are here to discuss the way forward, in other words, how to deal with these issues, are in fact reading from uh, uh, the same page that he and people uh, who are like-minded are reading from. And that is why I reckon um, he then had to refocus them. In other words, say, guys, can we make sure that we have the same departure point? Let's look at why we are where we are. Why did people lose confidence in the ANC, as was shown in uh, the last uh, election? And going into 2024, can we make sure that we will have significantly moved from where we were back then, whether it's real or merely a perception. The fact of the matter is that this is how South Africans feel about the ANC at the moment. And uh, I'm going to quote something he has said, but as I do that, I'm going to ask Dr. Levi Ndo, uh, who has taken Zwandi uh, a position to come uh, closer to me. Uh, uh, Dr. Ndo, um, the president started by saying, before he went into uh, this conversation about, you know, economic uh, uh, policy and where the ANC should go uh, from here, that the ANC finds itself at its weakest and most vulnerable since the dawn of democracy. What do you think he was trying to do or say there before, of course, he went to how then uh, the ANC can move forward and resolve the problems but also rebuild itself? I think what the president was trying to do was to say we are in a very difficult situation as South Africa and in particular as the ANC. And uh, what he was trying to say was that since 1994 up until today, we still have this divide where you have got the majority of the people being poor you have got few that are actually advantaged and what i liked was him saying that we need to end sloganeering we need to start coming up with tangible programs that must change the lives of the ordinary citizens and um, what I also uh, uh, like... In fact, he even, he even made an example of it, like ESCOM, saying it's no point, all of us, uh, well, he didn't use those words, whinging and moaning, <laughs> about uh, ESCOM. Here is a forum. You're being given a forum. Over the next three days, come up with very real, practical solutions to how we can turn the situation around. He is actually saying that when these delegates leave on Sunday or Monday morning, there should be tangible programs or something that should come out of this uh, police conference that South Africans would say, indeed, the ANC is trying to do something about our situation. And he's actually saying also that it is not about slogans. It, this is the time for action. And I think this is um, a call that says that in terms of policy, rhetorics and sloganeering, we are quite fine. But it is time now to act, change the gear, and start doing things differently. And these delegates, in my view, are being called upon to say, let's bring all our heads together 
and come up with something better for South Africa. And when it comes to economic uh, transformation, uh, of course, a point he underscored, um, it is not about self-enrichment. It is not about those because of their proximity to power or because of the positions or influence uh, they have within the ANC helping themselves um, to the trough. It is about broader, you know, economic, uh, socio-economic development of uh, everybody. This conference comes at a time when the unfortunate happened, which is COVID-19. We cannot only blame on that, but we need the ANC leaders or the ANC itself to come up with much better ways and means to better the lives of ordinary citizens. For an example, he made a call to say, we know we've got uh, load shedding, our small businesses are not performing very, very well. There are other factors that are there that are influencing the situation here, but we need to be able to do something out of this situation. And it calls for all these delegates, maybe to put other issues aside, personal interests aside, but they must be able, as they leave on Monday, to have developed something tangible uh, that uh, the ANC can be proud of, but they should be able to implement. Okay, let's leave it there uh, for now, Dr. Ando, Dr. Oliva Ando, of course, a member of our panel of analysts who are here um, uh, at uh, uh, the Nazarek uh, Center. For now, though, we are going to quickly dip in to what Tabang Makwetla, a member of the National Executive Committee, has to say. He has just walked out of the plenary to brief journalists about uh, the proceedings, where, the, uh, where things are at uh, the moment and what is going to happen next. Let's take a listen. Yeah. And from a briefing that was held earlier by the, uh, uh, the head of uh, yeah, policy um, in the ANC, Jeff Khadebe, they were going to go into that plenary, adopt credentials, as I said earlier, whereafter they will then come back and tell us what it is that they will be doing over the next few hours going into tomorrow. Tabang Makwetla, uh, the briefing that is about to start, uh, is going to do exactly that. For now, though, let me hand back to you.